Well, I have a bunch of questions for you, but judging by your social media, you two are content creators now, so <laughs> why don't you two just take over the interview? Wow. Yeah, just talk about what you want. You guys have been doing a good job of d documenting your off season. Yeah, our lives. We have, we've been trying to do that. We actually hung out in the off season. She came to Georgia. Really? Yeah, she yeah. visited me in Peachtree City. Yeah, so my brother actually lives in Georgia and like made like a double trip out of it, kind of. Um, like my, me and my mom road trip down there and then I was like, mom, I'm going for the day, I gotta go hang out. So uh, we hung out, it was good, yeah. Yeah, we hung out for the day. Trip. When was this? This was after Christmas. No, it was uh, we, like, because I was in Georgia for January. Years. So yeah, it was like the first week of. Yeah. First week of January. You got to see all the streets that were named Peachtree and the cities that was named Peachtree. Okay, weirdest thing <laughs> to this, like golf carts are all over the place. It's like there's golf cart paths and like people, like it's it's not rare to see golf carts going everywhere. And I was joking with her and I was like, oh, let's go ride a golf cart. She's like, yeah, because I, which I should have brought that. I was like, dude, I was kidding. It was a joke. And then as the golf cart drives by and I was like, wait, that's a thing. That's an actual thing here. She's like, yes, everyone does it. So Ever. you have a golf cart? Yeah, like I drove to high school with my golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> Normal <laughs> kids take a bus. <laughs> I mean, I did take a bus, but when I turned like 17, like I didn't get a car. Or 16. That was my next question. Yeah, yeah, I didn't get a car. Like, like, they're like, all right, you can drive the golf cart to school. And it wasn't like around the corner from where I lived. It was a good 30 minute drive, so I had to wake up pretty early. But it, it was worth it. It's like a customized golf cart? No, right. not customized, but you know, it's still pretty yeah. nice. I mean, That's it's nice. newer, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah. Like, she was shocked by that, I which was, was really funny. <laughs> I was shocked. I mean, people wanted me to ask about Thor, but I want to know more about this golf cart. Like, does it have... Dude, there's designated paths. Yeah, so my, so the Peachtree City, the actual city, before it was even built, they built 900 miles of golf cart paths first. <laughs> <laughs> Southern things. <laughs> no, it's not even that. I mean, it's, it, that's just how they built the city, so it's cool because, like, when you go out to eat, even if it's nice out in the summer or in the spring, you just take your golf cart or like I don't know Thor he when my parents had him last year they Thor like loves the golf cart and like if you tell my dogs like let's go on a golf cart right they sprint to the door and get in the golf cart so they know golf they cart. know golf carts and they love them and they think it's like the coolest thing ever oh my gosh this is this is so crazy <laughs> yeah this actually think. seems like a good idea like better than building a city around roads for cars like a more environmentally safe slower yeah it has it, yeah, yeah yeah and they're electric, obviously, so you like charge them, and then there's some gas ones, but I would say like probably 80% have electric ones, not gas ones, which is good. Yeah. So. My instinct was to start making fun of you because of this, because in the sports world, you gotta make she fun did. of everything yeah. for everything. Well, she made fun of me for a while, so yeah. she, yeah. Well, Paul and my's instincts align yeah. a lot. I, I can like, see that. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, we get each other. Well, we've already, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes a little bit too much. Uh, yes. <laughs> So you've already alluded to Thor, and I think it's ridiculous that maybe somebody doesn't know who Thor is right now, but it's possible. <laughs> that would be surprising. Yeah, so not the Avenger, but who is the Thor we're talking about here? Yes, Thor is my two-year-old golden retriever. My best friend. <laughs> yeah, Bo is very much convinced that they're best friends. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, it's a little bit predatory. Like, I expect to see too much Thor content on your stories. No more Thor content on your stories. Pretty soon the backgrounds are in different apartments. Yeah, and pretty soon it's going to be in my car, in yeah. my house. Yeah. She, Miss, the other day she looked at me and she was like, Abby. I love your dog. Can I make me in love with your dog? <laughs> your dog is super popular. Like, yeah. you was people it this morning him. you posted a picture of you and your dog and it got like 70 likes. And I know. People <laughs> really love... I told somebody, I told my parents the other day, I'm like, Thor is more famous than I am. <laughs> like, yeah, he really gets... Yeah. yeah he gets the crowd going. I think you found the secret to social media engagement. Yes. Dogs. So I gotta get a dog. What kind oh, of dog do you get? No, sorry. Yeah? Have you talked about this? I actually am considering getting a dog. Not like this year, but... Um, probably gonna get an Australian Shepherd. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, very high energy, mm -hmm. matches, matches me, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, not for a while, so. We talked about potentially yeah. this year, especially now that we're not in season yet, maybe like really getting involved with like humane societies. And yeah. we we both kind of volunteered with this, res with this rescue organization in Portland called Golden Bond Rescue. Mm -hmm. And they basically rescue golden retrievers like all over, but specifically their most recent rescues have been in China. And they bring them over, and they were basically dogs. This is like really messed up, but they're basically dogs that were gonna like be in slaughter houses or yeah. like Chinese in, meat market. Yeah, and they're and it's like kind of a black market essentially, but specifically golden retrievers. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because they like 
are normally like a little bit bigger. I don't really know, but either way, so this organization in Portland, we got involved and we fostered two dogs so far through it and so we're trying to like get involved with like the humane society even if we just go play with puppies for like two hours you know we just we're trying to get more involved with that so we've talked about maybe doing that first so poe i think when you decide on the dog you yeah. have to let the thorns twitter account put up a poll to name yes your dog. to name it well you've already settled on the breed that was going to be my idea okay. is let the okay. fans decide which breed which could be crazy she's settled but we could maybe convince her about the breed yeah this has been <laughs> Maybe yeah. I've I've they are I really feel like I've pretty much like settled on it because um, I was thinking about it a lot last year and then I was like oh these dogs are really cute my cousin had one and yeah, I so like cute. mingled and I was like no this is the dog for me like this is awesome and they're really smart they're really smart which I want to teach you all the cool tricks and everything yeah, yeah of course you're good at that so hmm. um, okay we can we can consider the, the name. <laughs> it's either that or you have to name it after one of your teammates and then that could get a little bit political. Like who, who you pick, who yeah, you ignore. Yeah, yeah, true. Like if you picked, if you named it after Sink, that's one thing. Okay. Well, anybody else, it becomes. I was gonna like, say, I think it's easy Sink. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely take the easy route. <laughs> Just name, <laughs> yeah. Maybe Sinky. Although to be fair, Toby is kind of a cool dog name. That is, that's a very cool dog name. I agree. Right? That's so, a cute name. Mm -hmm. Twitter poll. Okay. Coming yeah. out. Yeah. Once you decide that you're actually getting the dog. Okay. We'll do that. Don't so, hold your breath. We'll start with. You. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start with you, Poe. What else did you do this off season? <laughs> um. For me personally, I was like, I need to take a month off soccer. So I took like all November off, basically um, went home, hung out with family. I went and visited Rutgers and they were in the um, Big Ten tournament NCAA. So I went and watched their games, hung out with a lot of friends, like ca caught up with a lot of family. And then as soon as December 1st hit, got back into like a training regiment, things like that. Um, obviously took the break to go to Georgia and kind of just been like training here and there ever since, um, trying to like, really reground myself and like build back relationships that I've had in the past because I feel like that really fuels me going into the year so that was really important to me and um, balancing like family life with not really being able to go home or take breaks during the season I was like I really need to and FaceTiming me every day yeah and we'll see that every day yeah I mean we FaceTime a lot I say yeah I feel like it started off every day and then as like we got more into being a part it was like okay we'll, <laughs> yeah, we'll catch it we went through a phase okay. yeah we'll like catch yeah, we went on a break phase and then yeah it was necessary yeah I'm just kidding. <laughs> that makes it sound like something else. Nothing else. No, but it was just like, okay, like we're doing our thing. Yeah, you know? we were like with our family. It was family. like, how's everything going? Catch up, blah, blah, yeah. blah. How's your knee? Catching up with the ACL, awesome ACL recovery. So, yeah. Doing good stuff, you know. We got to talk about that in a yeah. second, but I want to talk about, was there like a specific time of day that if you guys hadn't FaceTime, you're wondering what's up? No, we have like, we have this weird thing. That like, you correct me if I'm wrong, but like, if something happens in my life and I'm like, oh my God, I have to tell Poe right now and I call her right away. Yeah. Like, and same thing with her. There was that one, there was those one time, there was like a couple weeks where like you facing me, I couldn't. I FaceTime you, you couldn't. And we literally just like couldn't match up. And then finally, like, okay, dude, just drop this. Like we're, we're going <laughs> to Yeah. Out. And it was something like important that we didn't yeah, talk about. Yeah. And like, we just kept playing phone tag basically. Yeah. But no, it did kind of, it was, it's kind of like, okay, this is important. I need to tell Gabby about this. Yeah. Like, we I would just call each other so right just, away. Yeah. Yeah. Cause we're, I'm like, I feel like I'm also super ADD. So like if I don't tell her right away, I'll Are you first. insinuating that I'm ADD? No, 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 you're not. I think no, I'm you like, did say also. <laughs> you did say also. No, I think I'm like, True. so it's okay. No, I think I am, so I, I don't tell her right away. I'll either forget or it won't be correct. Or, yeah. So I have to, like, There's no get it off like, my chest. It's not the same energy, you know? You got yeah. something exciting, like, ah, right yeah. now. You know, a couple of days, like, yeah, that was cool. I don't know, did this anyway. Yeah. How and are you like, doing? We, we still do, yeah. And we still do that now. Like, even when we, we spend, like, a lot of time together. Yeah. But, like, even if we're apart for the one hour of the day. I'll What'd self. you do? What'd you eat? Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I'll be her and ask her. Do you want to come over and watch The Bachelor? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So. You said same energy, and that brings up my question. Like, the way you two talk is really different. We were just talking about that before <laughs> she hit record. Yeah. One of you is here, the other one is here. Do you two see each other as having the same energy? Mm. I don't know. I mean, I feel like we're just different. Yeah, I feel like we are very different. We're but super like, different. And, like, I feel like you that is where different. we, I feel like that's where we kind of match is, like, our energy. Like, we, I mean, like, the vibes, I guess, you know, that we, like, get from. Kind of, like, right away, I feel like we, we became friends, like, pretty quickly. Because it was, it wasn't ever, like, a, okay, we have to make a point to hang out. It was, like, hey, you want to come talk with me? You want to do this with me? Yeah. And then, like, we basically just made a friendship by, like, sharing, like, li lives. Yeah. And um, so I feel like that's really where we matched. It was, like she's like okay i want to do this want to do this want to do this and i my energy is like 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She just so, like, she goes with the flow. You just you go with the flow and you just and I like that. I guess we don't match, but it just works. Like yeah. it's like a puzzle. It just kind of yeah. works. That's true. Yeah. So you immediately hit it off last year. So you two come in around the same time, preseason starts <laughs> last year. What just came to mind, Gabby? <laughs> I know what you're gonna say. I'm scared. <laughs> My first ever. <laughs> she gets so mad about this, but well, I will so, never live it up. Well, first off, like obviously, like I'm. This was my last year was my first year. Last year was her first year, and I remember we were like in a team meeting. Can I preface this just a little? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, my feelings like when I first came in day one, hadn't been to like any like youth national stuff. Blah blah. blah I felt like I was like a lone person. You know, didn't get drafted. Blah. blah come in. She's talking like oh ye. She's talking like. Tell, she's like able to talk to tons of people, right? And I'm just sitting here like, oh my gosh, well, okay. I feel like <laughs> she can talk. Yeah, I was like very overwhelmed. <laughs> I remember, I vividly remember seeing her at our first meal and just sitting at the end of the table going, I literally know not a single person. Here. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I was like, well, if, I feel like if I'm gonna like be friends with somebody off the bat, it's gonna be Gabby. She's gonna talk. Like she talks and she's like, like connective and everything like that. So. But anyway, my first day, I have this feeling, like, okay, I'm very low, so now go ahead. Oh, well, that, you went some more detail, but I was just going to say, like, we're sitting in our, we all, like, designated seats specifically at, at the training center, and um, she, we, like, had started our meeting, like, 10 minutes had gone, gone by the meeting, and there comes Poe, walks in <laughs> 10 minutes late, in her full clothes, we're, like, in our training gear. Day two. Yeah, the second day. <laughs> And, like, in her defense, like, obviously she hadn't, like, none of us had really ever been there, but she was just, like, she didn't realize exactly that we had to be there earlier than, like, what time it actually started. And so she was, like, a little bit confused about that. But, like, that was the yes. first ever interaction, so really, we, I had with her. And, well, like, which was funny. It's just, it still makes me uncomfortable. I'm, like, sweating. I know. <laughs> well, because I remember sitting there. Because like, I'd been <gasps> invited in, right? It was, like, so it's like, okay, you got <laughs> to, you know, earn your place and stuff. And so I'm, like. I show up, I got to training early. Like I got there like 10 minutes, probably 15 minutes before and I was like, it was the first day my, because my dad had come in and helped me like transition and stuff. So I was like, okay, I don't want to be, you know, super early. So I'm just going to go in. Cause like, who am I going to talk to? You know? So like, I'll go in a couple minutes before, completely messed up the time. And I walk in and Sophie looks at me, she's like, All right. I'm like walking around, I'm like, where is her? I'm like, people stuff is <laughs> in the locker room. Am I like, I'm lost. Sophie, and, and Sophie's like, in the meeting and I was like hey what <laughs> she's just the meeting like are in the meeting and I'm like oh gosh so like slowly open the door right you can't there's no like mm. discreetly doing it because the, the doors room? are yeah. right in front of the entire room so yeah so I walk in behind Pierre who's talking and I'm like sorry excuse me <laughs> <laughs> sit down sweating just like sweating I'm like all eyes are on me I think I think it was Kling or somebody was like ooh yeah, <laughs> which just makes it worse. So then I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'm cut. I'm cut. They're gonna tell me I'm going home. Like it's over. Blah blah. blah. And now that I know her, I know how much she was panicking oh, because she has to get to places. Like, and if she has to be there, we have to be there at 10:30. She's there, probably 9:45. Like she gets to places like on time. Like not even on time. Like way early. So I now that I know this, <laughs> it was a scarring moment. Yeah. But yeah. Never Kling won't let me live it down either, which I think is a, it's really funny. You know, it keeps me honest. So, but yeah, that was my second day of season. <laughs> and good news is I'm still here. <laughs> yeah. What a story. And I, I can almost guarantee you haven't been late for anything else. So no, that's, maybe that's why. Not come with. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that see. is for sure. Because I'm like, if I'm 45 minutes early, then, and if I get the time wrong, I'll be 15 minutes early instead of late. So, yeah. yeah. Was, that was our first interaction. It was a great start. Well, you said that was your first interaction. How did you react to that? I mean, how did that I literally felt bad for her because, well, first off, I had been there, I think, a week before preseason started or maybe two weeks just to, like, kind of get readjusted. And even when I was there during those two weeks, like, there weren't, everyone wasn't there yet. And I was, like, so nervous. Like, every conversation, like, and I feel like when I'm so nervous, I, like, do the opposite and I over-talk. So I'm, like, Ugh, like, just blabbing. Are and I'm like, nervous now? No. Oh, okay. No, this is just me normally. <laughs> Maybe it's just me normally, but, like, I feel like I just, like... I just like try to make conversation and I'll like start complimenting people and I'm like like I like so many shoes and like oh my god her shoes are so cute and like it's like a random person it's like because so <laughs> I'm like I'm trying to like make friends and like be yeah. make conversation and so 
yeah so I, I feel like I started to do that and then I don't really know how I don't really remember how we became friends but I think we just like started talking and like yeah, I think you were just like, hey, you want to get food? And yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got and Chipotle then, that one yeah, day. Yeah, because I think Simone and some other people were supposed to come. They're like, I can't. And I was like, yeah. all right. And then she's like, hey, I want to go to Target. Do you want to go? And I was like, yeah. sure. And we bonded on Target. Like, what do you know? <laughs> Target and Chipotle. Target and okay. Chipotle. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, Poe already alluded to this. Uh, I think everybody wants to know how your recovery has gone this off season. Yes. What was it like? Going through another off season of injury. Recovery. I know. I know. Gosh. It's just a tradition at this point. No, no the tradition is tradition. <laughs> um, it was, it's been so good. It was, it was good to get away from just this environment because it was good to see my family. I think it was good mentally more than anything. Just getting to like be with my boyfriend and really getting to see my dog and my family. And I have five nieces and nephews, so just getting to spend time with them was good mentally. And then. I just, I absolutely was just crushing rehab. Like, I just, I feel like I went into it with the mindset every day. Because when I tore my CL, I was in a really bad place. Just because, obviously, like you said before, I this was my second surgery with my knee. And I was just so bummed because I felt like I was really starting to get back to where I was before I even got injured the first time. So, I was super bummed. I was in a really bad place. And when I got to go home mentally, it was so good. And then I just, like, made it a point every day I went to rehab. Like, I'm just going to crush this. And... I completely just changed my mindset and I don't know I just didn't look back and I just feel like I haven't looked back since I don't remember it was like a given day that I was just like I'm when I go to rehab I'm gonna absolutely crush it and that's how it's gonna be and I've been in like such a good place since I started to come in with that mindset and just be really positive and obviously every day you're gonna have setbacks because you never really know but I just I've tried to stay so positive throughout throughout the whole process of it and it's been amazing and I got cleared like last week which was amazing so and yeah it was I felt like it was just everything I had worked for within the last couple of months specifically and um yeah it just felt really good and I'm only at I think I'm my six months is until next week so I really got cleared at like five and a half months which like doesn't mean I'm like going out and like playing in games but I'm definitely they're good with like getting you back to return to play and stuff so so for people who don't know your story you had an LCL before this yes which is a more invasive surgery, oh my but gosh. yeah, but different yeah. type of recovery entirely. Yeah. And I'm glad I went through that first because mm. that one was so tough. Like just yeah. recovery wise, how intense, I mean, the surgery was almost like three hours long. It was so intense and I'm glad I went through that first because I feel like my ACL has just been way smoother sailing with just even recovery, how, how my knee actually feels. Like mm. I was telling Poe, Sometimes I forget I'm like coming off an injury because I don't feel knee pain, like I don't feel pain in my knee. And with my LCL, I, I mean, I was feeling it for at least a full year. And then once I hit that year mark, it was like I felt better. But with my ACL, <laughs> I already don't, I don't have any knee pain. So it's like been weird because I'm like, is this normal? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, it's good though because I just, it's nice when you're out there, you're not thinking about, oh my gosh, I feel this weird pain in my knee. You know, you're just yeah. out there and you're doing it. So. You know, doing my return to playing, being on the field, and doing my fitness and stuff. It's just nice because I don't feel pain. So Have yeah. you gotten to where you, you're trusting your leg again? Are you at that level yet? Yeah, so I'm like, that's basically what I've been doing the past couple of weeks that I've been back. Just, it's a more of a, in a controlled environment. So the things that I'm doing, you know, landing on that leg. But each day that I do that, I feel more comfortable. And they're starting to, like, implement more reactive stuff or things that, you know, are more soccer. So that's kind of just, like, the process of getting back to full out basically so I don't want to talk about soccer too much but Poe I do want to ask you we're yeah. talking to Gabby a little bit here about restoring confidence in her body sure. with you it's kind of about confidence in play after your first year competing in a professional environment what's your confidence level like going into your second year here um that's an interesting question I think you know I kind of like a like Gabby says you know like have a positive mindset going you know every day and um, I'm feeling pretty confident I think after having last year kind of like under my belt has been really good for my mentality and for like me as a player to come in this year and go okay like we just have to earn it you know every time and I've actually had lots of conversations I think like some with you but a lot of my family about um, you know there's not like for me last year there wasn't like that immediate gratification of okay you trained really well this week you're gonna play and so that was like a big mental thing for me I think last year was was really going through that and like having to perform every single week and do it really well and even on the team's bad days you got to be good and so knowing what that was like and kind of going through that battle a little bit for myself um, 
And there was a time, I think it was July, where I like, kind of dropped off everybody to come back from the World Cup. And like I wasn't playing as much because you know they were returners. And my playtime kind of dropped off. And so I kind of checked out a little bit. And I took a weekend. And I was like, you know what? We're not going to think about soccer. We're going to reset. And we're going to go back. Um, went back that week. Found out that I was possibly be called the 23s. Sprained my ankle. Was in a boot for a week. Out for a couple weeks. And then eventually found out, okay, yes, you're like good, you're good to go, go back in. And my confidence went like, just totally boosted up after that, coming back and I was like, okay, we're in it. We're gonna just, we're gonna grind, we're gonna grind. This isn't about this year anymore, it's about next year, it's about 2021, it's about moving forward and just trying to like get better and just try and be prepared the best I can for whatever calls, pretty much. And I think that was a big mental change over the last, last year. So this year I'm just coming in, just gonna do what I can to get on the field, mm -hmm. you know, whatever that means. So. Um, but yeah, it's been good. And like our conversations, you know, we talk about like that kind of stuff and just like me like mental preparation is the biggest thing, you know? And like, she, I actually talked to her about, uh, said something about it today because it's really funny. She just cracks me up. She's like, you know, it's 2020, it's all positive. <laughs> and I'm like, it's 2020. Time. Well, it's 2020, we're not, we're not having that Sounds a lot like your 2019. <laughs> and that's, that's why I think it's funny. I never actually said it to her, but I'm like, she's had that mindset for months before 2020 even started. Uh -huh. Like when the whole ACL thing, she's like, no, it's positive, we're gonna. And so I think it's funny that she's like, oh, it's 2020. I'm like. Gabby, it's just you. Like, it's just, <laughs> it's not 2020. It's just your mentality. Like, it's just, it's it's how it, it's, it should be. And so it's really funny um, to me. But it was just like those little constant reminders. Like, okay, hey, you know, even saying that, like, it's 2020. Like, okay, yes, positive. We're thinking positive. We're getting through this. Like, being confident. And I think that's, that's what I'm most excited about coming into this season, for sure. Second year in Portland, too, for both of you. No more learning curve here. You've got to dominate this city this year. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> working on it. Yeah? yeah. You're working on it? Okay. Yeah. How, how are you going to do that? What are we doing in Portland this year? What are we doing to make this a little bit more your home this year? Honestly, it already just feels like home. Yeah. I don't know. I was, like, so excited to go home in the off season. I'm like, I'm so ready to go home. And then, like, one week later, Po and I are like, all right, we missed it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So it's funny. Like, I feel like sometimes when you're in it, you take it for granted. And I know... I, the reason I was so bummed when I got injured is because when I feel like when, when I was here, and even for the both of us when we were here, because it's funny when she's not funny, sorry, but when you sprain your ankle oh, and then yeah. like Flares. I tore my Flares. ACL, like <laughs> I tore my ACL though, like maybe a week later. Not quite as funny. Oh, yeah, you know, it's not really funny. Not funny. But yeah. you know, I think when you're in it, sometimes it's really easy to take it for granted. And then I think for me, when I got injured, it was like, oh my gosh, like don't ever take this for granted because. Yeah. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. You never know. Like, you never know. Each season could be so different. You could be in a different city. You could. You just never know. You could get injured. You could retire. Like, you just never know. So I think, I know that's kind of in my mindset, too, is just trying to live in the moment and just not take it for granted. And I think we both do a good job of, like, when we're having a down day or, like, something's bothering us, it takes, especially me, it takes me a minute to, like, get it out. But I think we end up, like, having, like, those conversations of, like, it's okay, we're going to get through it. Or, you know, Okay. Maybe not 2020 yeah. be positive like, all the time, <laughs> but like, kind no, of like yeah. it's like it's okay to, to also have bad days too. Yeah, and just work through it. So yeah, for cool. sure. Yeah, I mean we both. I I went in the off season and people were like, how do you like Portland? And it was funny when I first moved here, I was like, I don't know. It's you know it's a cool city. I don't know if I if I wasn't playing soccer, I could see myself here. And then mm, it's like the opposite now. <laughs> it's complete opposite now. People are like, are you excited back? Can't we love it. Yeah, we're like we love it. It's so yeah. yeah. And that's when I knew I was like, okay. Portland is like. Yeah. Home. Like, that's where I want to be, and that's, yeah. you know, where we enjoy being because, like, we have good memories here, and, you know, just this city overall, I think, is really awesome. And so, I think the same for you, but, like, I'm just trying to work as hard as I can and stay here as long as I can. So, 